Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to remote play on the Xbox Series S. So the first step is you want to head over to settings, and you want to navigate to devices and connections, then navigate to remote features, and then you're going to see enable remote features, you just want to turn this on. When you turn it on, it's going to test your setup. This means it's going to check your download speed and your NAT type. If your download speed is slow, and your NAT type is closed, there is a chance you may not be able to remote play to your Xbox Series S, Therefore, I recommend uh, if your NAT tab is closed, you open that up. You can always search a tutorial. You'll probably find my tutorial. And if your speed is slow, then you may not be able to uh, connect your Xbox Series S on the same Wi-Fi network, or you may not be able to connect to it outside of your home. So you can see it. My NAT tab is open. That's good. But upstream bandwidth is slow. That means my network isn't fast enough for playing outside of my home. What does this mean? Well, I can only remote play if my uh, phone or tablet is on the same Wi-Fi network as the Xbox Series S. If your internet's faster, you can actually remote play outside your home, which means anywhere in the world, let's say you're in college, school, and you want to remote play to your Xbox Series S, which is at home, you can do that if your internet is a bit faster. You're gonna see uh, console settings, power, instant on, so that's good, so everything is set uh, correctly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on next, and then close. So the next step is on your phone or tablet, what you're going to need to do is you need to open up the Play Store here and you want to download the Xbox app and get this downloaded. Then open it up and once you've opened it up, uh, for the very first time it's going to ask you to sign in with your uh, Xbox account. So just sign in with your Xbox account and then once you sign in, what you're going to do here is you're going to navigate to this library menu. And then you're going to see consoles, you're going to see your Xbox Series S, you may see any other consoles you may have. Tap on your Xbox Series S, then tap on Remote Play on this device. Then tap on continue and then the remote play is going to start now if your uh, internet connection is strong enough the remote play will work successfully if it isn't then the uh, remote play will not work so you can see here everything seems good to go just give it a little bit longer uh, to verify that you know everything's working and we'll just tap on continue anyway and just like that the remote play has worked so i just accidentally just turned that on but you can see here look at this um, you can see it's a bit uh, glitchy because my internet's quite slow. However, uh, you know, I'm pressing up on the D-pad on the Xbox and you can see that the remote play is fully working. So keep in mind, again, if you have faster internet, you're going to have a better experience. Uh, for me, my internet's quite slow, so I don't have a very good experience at all. Honestly, you could say this is unplayable, but with the faster internet connection, you will be good to go. And really, that's all there is to it. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.